name of the court yesterday is respected, it is a judgment that I refuse to accept. I refuse to accept the judgment because I believe that it is bereft of substantial justice. However, the disappointment in the verdict of the of the court can never destroy my confidence in the judiciary. <laughs> Consequently, I have asked my lawyers to activate my constitutionally guaranteed rights of appeal to the higher court, which in the East is the Supreme Court of Nigeria. Hello beautiful people, you especially welcome back to my political news of today. And if this is your first time coming across my face or seeing my news for the very first time, I say you a beautifully welcome. I remain your humble sister from another mother. My name is still Her Excellency of the Federal Republic of my kingdom, Tahila the Great. Since the presidential election tribunal failed to deliver judgment that will restore confidence in our judiciary system, before this judgment came up yesterday, we've been hammering all eyes on the judiciary, all eyes on the judiciary, and the judiciary seems to have failed the masses and repose the confidence we all have in the judiciary. The People's Democratic Party presidential candidate for the 2023 general election, al Haji Atiku Abubakar, is holding a press conference. You remember at the beginning of this video where we are approaching the court. But the very big question I brought here today is, how long as a country are we going to continue the same thing to get results? How long the judiciary, which is supposed to be the hope of the common man, are busy destroying the confidence of Nigeria, the confidence of the common man? So beautiful people, I bring this thing for us to deliberate on it on the comment section. By the time you watch this video, do not forget to like, comment, and share. Let us talk at the comment section because we cannot continue like this as a country and move forward. We cannot continue like this as a country and get the development politically. No wonder in some countries right now, people are beginning to go for the military coup. You see coup everywhere. Is that what the judiciary and this country want for us? Uh, the big question is, when you come to the comment section, we're going to talk about it. The judiciary has to really give the masses the confidence that we all have been agitating for but meanwhile patiently listen to the detail of what his excellency Elijah atiku abubakar will tell us in this press statement and then we'll talk at the comment section please do not forget to like this but this video do not forget to bring your comments at the comment section because like i said the judiciary uh, really played a host with little wonder yesterday even voodoo, we begin, some people begin to wonder, how come everybody in the court yesterday, virtually nobody that stepped into that court has sleep, was all sleeping? They say, oh, more, no be juju be that. Some people say voodoo enter inside court yesterday. But these are the many more questions and discussion I want us to talk in the comment section. So, guys, do not forget to please patiently listen to His Excellency al Haji Atiku Abubakar. Let's talk at the comment section. Keep liking, keep sharing. Keep sharing and tell your friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to follow this my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in my comment section. Don't touch that now. Keep watching. I will be right back. See Ambassador Omar Damagun, the acting chairman, give my official reaction to the judgment delivered yesterday by the Presidential Election Petition Court on the 2023 presidential elections. As you already know, I approached the court following the declaration of INEC or by INEC that the APC and its candidates are the winners of the February 25th elections. My decision to go to but it's anchored in my belief that the court is the sanctuary of justice. 
the journey of my political career, as you know, holds so much to the courage and fearlessness decisions of our judiciary. Indeed, I am no stranger to legal battles. And I can say that I have a fair idea of how the court system works. All through my career as a politician, I have been a fighter and will continue to fight. And I must say that I have found the judiciary as a worthy pillar to rest on the pursuit of justice. The last presidential election in our country and the way it was managed by the electoral umpire, the independent National Electoral Commission, leaves behind an enviable precedent, which I believe the courts have a duty to redress. Our gains in ensuring transparent elections through the deployment of technology was heavily compromised by INEC in the way it managed the last presidential election. And I'm afraid that the judgment of the court as rendered by the presidential election petition tribunal yesterday failed to restore confidence in our dreams of free and fair elections devoid of human manipulations. Like I did say, at the beginning of this legal battle, when I instructed my lawyers to file my petition challenging the outcome of the presidential election, my ultimate goal in this pursuit is to ensure that democracy is far strengthened through the principles and processes of fair hearing and justice. Gentlemen of the press, I take great pains to tell you that the decision of the court of first instance on this matter utterly fails far short of expectation. I am therefore here to tell you that though the judgment of the court yesterday is respected, it is a judgment that I refuse to accept. I refuse to accept the judgment because I believe that it is bereft of substantial justice. However, the disappointment in the verdict of the court can never destroy my confidence in the judiciary. Consequently, I have asked my lawyers to activate my constitutionally guaranteed rights of appeal to the higher court, which in the East is the Supreme Court of Nigeria. It is my conviction that the electoral process in Nigeria should be devoid of untidy manipulations and that the outcome of every election should be a perfect reflection of the wishes of the electorate. I believe that such is the only way through which our democracy can have a manifest expression of its true meaning. Whether I prevail in this quest or not, the record of my effort in ensuring an order of credible elections in Nigeria shall remain for the future generations to emulate. <laughs> On this note, I urge all my supporters to remain calm and fast. I ask them to take thank you. I ask them to take solace in an immortal lesson I learned from my leader and mentor, late Shehu Yaradua, may his soul rest in peace, Amen. that losing a battle is less important than losing the war.
We might have lost a battle yesterday, but the war is well ahead of us. And I believe that with our hopes in God and yourselves, we shall win the war of restoring confidence in our electoral system. Let me finally give hope to some of our delusion or disappointed members of our party. I am one of the foundation members of this party. I'm still standing strong. <laughs> APM, whatever you call yourself, your mother is the PP. <laughs> you have no reason, you have no reason whatsoever to lose hope in this party. Life itself is full of ups and downs. What is most important for us is to make sure we remain loyal and faithful members of this historic party. This is the only party since the creation of Nigeria, that is as old as it is today. We have a record to maintain, to protect, and to promote and foster. You may be fathers today, but you are always proud of your grandfather, not so. Not to talk of your great grandfather. Why will you not want to be proud? to be a member of PDP. There is absolutely no reason. I therefore want to urge our members to remain loyal, to remain dedicated, and to foster national unity and cohesion. I thank you very much indeed for attending this uh, press conference which was only decided last night. In spite of the short notice, many of you have come from various parts of the country to attend uh, to this press conference. God bless you all. Thank you very much. he said as the judiciary in nigeria has murdered democracy that is the thing that has been bleeding in the hearts of so many nigerians don't forget let's continue the detail of our discussion at the comment section see you there and thanks for watching i'm sure you're done watching the video and i'm sure you're enjoying what you watch you've listened to everything that is said i want to hear your thoughts your like at the comment section means they are tell you say I want to hear what you feel about the video where you just watch now and hey what you learn what you feel because some of these things some people they learn some things inside yes whatever you feel just share it at the comment section 
Anything where you know say you learn or why you feel say waiting you watch, waiting they suppose improve or waiting no day. Suppose they there. Let me hear how you feel for comment section. Now do not forget to hit that red subscription button and click on the notification bell for more of my political news coming your way. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.